today we're going to talk about the six parts of a plant. The main parts of a plant are the roots, the stem, the leaves, the flowers, the fruit, and the seeds. So we're actually going to sing a song after we learn about all the different plant parts and what they do. So everybody stand up right now wherever you are and we're going to demonstrate the six parts of a plant on your body. So at the bottom where your feet are, those would be the roots. And the purpose of the roots is to anchor the plant in the soil, and that's also where the water comes in the plant. So when we say roots, we're gonna to touch our toes. Next part of the plant is the stem. Okay, so this is the stem. And the purpose of the stem, it helps the plant stand straight up, and it also has water going through the plant, and then all the sugar that's made during the photosynthesis that the plant uses is all going through the stem. All right, leaves. Leaves are important because they perform photosynthesis. And all that means is they're taking sunlight and they're turning it into sugars. And that's what helps the plant grow. That's how they make their own food. All right? Sometimes, when it's time to reproduce, some plants make flowers, all right? And flowers get pollinated and they make seeds, all right? And they turn into a fruit. So we have the flowers that turn into a fruit with the seeds inside, so to represent fruit, we act like we just harvested a bunch of apples and we're carrying them in our shirt. That's fruit. And then the seeds inside the fruit. All right, so is everybody ready? We're gonna sing a song about the six parts of the plants. And it's to the tune of the Adams Family or the Days of the Week song, depending on what age you are. All right, so here it goes. Da-na-na-na, 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 da-na-na-na. There's roots and stems and leaves, flowers, fruit, and seeds. You roll them all together, you got the parts of the plant, parts of the plant, parts of the plant, parts of the plant, parts of the plant. Now that we've talked about the six parts of the plant, we're gonna talk about some of the food we eat and determine what part of the plant it comes from. All right, so remember the six parts of the plant are the roots, the stems, the leaves, the flowers, the fruit, and the seeds. So we're gonna give you guys a quiz and see if you can figure it out. All right, peppers. Now peppers don't taste sweet, but they have seeds inside. And if it has seeds inside, it's a fruit. Right? If you eat salads, usually there's some kind of lettuce or spinach as the base, and those are actually leaves that we're eating. All right, this one kind of gives it away. Cauliflower, we're actually eating the flower, all right? If you have broccoli or cauliflower and you let it get old, all these little buds will actually open up and be flowers. So when you're eating cauliflower, you're actually eating little flowers. All right, asparagus. When we eat asparagus, what do you think we're eating? We're eating the stems. Here's some celery, it's already been cut, but this is also a stem. All right, broccoli, just like cauliflower, all those little green parts on top that look like little buds, those actually are flower buds and they will actually open into flowers. All right, a carrot. Carrots come out of the ground, you don't see them until you harvest them. Those are actually roots. Radish, same thing. It only takes like a month to grow a radish, but they are roots. All right, corn's actually kind of a tricky one. All right, all these little kernels, those are all seeds. So when you eat corn, you're actually eating seeds. All right, bok choy, what do you think those are? Those are leaves. Oh, here's a good one for the summertime, watermelon. All right, now there's seeds inside, so that tells us that it's a fruit. It also happens to be sweet, which is what most people associate with fruit. All right, this one's not so sweet, but it is also a fruit, the pumpkin. All those pumpkin seeds inside tell you that the pumpkin is a fruit. And 
then wheat. All right, all these little guys are seeds that we mash up to make flour and into pancakes and stuff like that. So those are the seeds. So those are the six parts of the plant we eat. Now I brought some examples so we can see if you guys can figure out some other examples. All right. These are cinnamon sticks. And if you look at the ends, they're kind of curled up. Because what this actually is, is tree bark that they take off the cinnamon tree. And once they take it off, it curls up into these little sticks. And that's what we use to season our food with. So since these are bark, cinnamon's actually from the stem of the cinnamon tree. You don't see too many of these in Oklahoma, but this is from a coconut tree, all right? A coconut palm. This is a coconut that is still in the husk. So this is not what you normally find at the stores. Normally they take this husk off, all right? Because it's really hard to get off if you're not used to doing it. So I brought another coconut that I actually sawed in half and it's all dried up and old, but the milk would be in here. And this is the meat of the coconut, which you can shred and eat. And this outline right here is what you're used to seeing for a coconut. That is the seed of this. So this is the fruit of the coconut. And what we actually eat is basically shredded seed. That's a really big seed. This is also something you don't find in Oklahoma. This only grows within about 15 degrees of the equator. That is the cacao pod. That is where we get chocolate from. Inside the cacao pod are the beans. Now when they're first harvested, they're in a really milky substance. So they spread it all out and let the beans dry. Then they take those beans and ship them to like Hershey, Pennsylvania, where they're made into chocolate. So chocolate basically is a seed from a fruit. A lot of the herbs we eat, we're eating the leaves. So this is oregano. And you just take off the leaves as you need them to season food. You can just have it growing on your windowsill and harvest it when you want. You don't have to buy the dried version. And now that you know what all the foods you eat, what part of the plant they're from, you can now say you literally know where your food comes from. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.